what's good y'all back again with another video uh got some pretty good feedback on the crew cab video i'll show you guys a little update because i plan on making a video here soon it's an update already that's how you guys get i'll talk about it in another video but yeah here's a eg i don't know if you guys seen this uh, i think i showed this when i posted the video of the red honda had the si's and yeah just got rid of the si's for these uh stance boy wheels whatever you want to call them so if you guys want to see a video on this as well let me know i'll do a video on this show you guys the trunk set up don't mind it's probably dirty in here because my kid Far ass beat. Sound pretty good too, but main purpose of today's video is the work truck. If you guys can tell, or if you can't tell, I don't know if I've ever done a video on this or not, but it's my work truck 2003 Silverado 2500. Has a 60 4L80 in it, but I just put a leveling kit on it. Three inch front leveling kit and two inch rear. So I'm about to put my wheels back on. My alignment was fucked before I put the leveling kit on. I'm a fucker slick boy. Also, uh, I'll show you the one wheel that the big wheel that did the same shit to, but now I have fucking negative camber in the front. So now the fucking I was gonna try and get it aligned, but I think I need some new parts and shit. So let me grab the big wheels and I'll show you guys those. A close up with those. These are my big wheels 20 by 14s on 35s. Got these for steel. Drove five hours to Dallas at 5 p.m. one night and got back home at 5 a.m. This was a tire that when my lime was off. I'm gonna put it on the back and run that bitch till it blows. As you can see, the other other three are freaking what well, that one's ate up too a little bit, but these two are good. This one and that one are pretty good, so I'm gonna put these in the front. Run the two shitty ones in the rear. I have a new set of 34s in the shed. I just like I said. I didn't want to run these 35s because I had them on before with no leveling kit. Fit fine in the back, of course. Got the bumper in the front. The Valance. You see half my, not half, uh, some of my fender flares missing. And the cab is fucking bent in a little bit. This side's worse. So, but I got that three inch level on now. And I think you can clear 35s on a 3 inch level, if I'm not mistaken. So, I don't know, but we're going to find out. Not like it matters, because I ran them without the level anyway. Just raised the torsion bars up, which I shouldn't have done that. I should have left it how it was, but you know. But I like how they look. And it's a work truck, so why not? Some cool shit on there. But, yeah, I'm probably just going to wash these up real quick. You can see how huge they are. <sighs> Comes up to almost my waist, middle thigh for sure, the 35s. So yeah, I'm gonna get the hose out, give these a quick, a quick rinse, and start putting them on that thing. got done cleaning them i didn't dry them because they're black wheels they're bound to get dirty but when they're wet though they look pretty good although i'd rather like uh chrome or polished wheels but these were on the deal like i said which i'm sure i could get uh some chrome wheels off for them like trade them straight across especially since i got those 34s because i want to put street tires on here which I found some 305 50 20s, but dude was 
I mean, I don't know. He was, he was a little high and pretty firm, so I've been letting him hold on to him, and hopefully he uh, drops the price here pretty soon unless someone buys him. But I guess we'll see. Also, let me know if you guys like the GoPro footage. If you guys like the how the quality is, which it's supposed to be good, but I don't know, maybe I'm not used to the GoPro shit. I don't know. But I have a Canon G7X in the crib, and I got the iPhone 11 with the two cameras, 0.5 camera or whatever. So, but yeah, I'm about to jack up the rear, put the two shitty tires on the rear for now, and go from there. Oh yeah, I'm about to check, see how much air is in them, because they've been sitting for a minute, but they should be good. Well, boys, having some te technical difficulties. Got the one on right there. Fucking was airing these two up because these two had the lowest air. I forgot this one of these valve systems is bad, so you barely move it. And it pss, 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 hella bad. So I'm attempting to take the tire off the bead so I can replace this valve stem. And these wheels have two valve stems, which don't make no sense. So it's I'm hoping I can take the one side off the bead and get to it from there if not then I might have to take both sides Ooh, both sides off the bead but got this little cool trick to get the tire off the bead seen on YouTube figured if none of you guys know how I'll show you guys how so all you need is a ratchet strap take this thing out what the hell God dang. All you'll need is a ratchet strap, a jack, and the wheel. So let me set it all up and I'll bring you guys back. Alright, so what you guys want to do, put the hook on this, on the little bar. Put this hook, hold on. Put this hook on this side. So you got the two hooks. Fucking put this right here. Then you want to bring your tire over here. Set the back of the tire right before, right before this part of the jack hits the rim. Put it right here on the edge. So you do that. As you see. Right before the edge, what you want to do, take the one strap, oh. all right, you pulled the one strap through there, right, so you hooked it, pulled it through the hoop, now what you want to do is, take this part, hold on, take this part, lift up the jack put it under the wheels or put it under the jack so you go in put it under the jack now what you want to do take this one the actual ratchet pull it through right here so it's through right here and feed the strap in like a normal strap what i can't do with the camera so hold on all right so you fed it through right now you just want to pull tight Strap it down. That's how you do. So strap down. Then all you do. I just broke my last strap. Alright. You see? You probably can't see. But I need to get closer to the rim. So let me get closer to the rim. Of course the one where I stopped recording. And I went for it popped off the bead so what i'm gonna do next take a big pry bar pry it to where hopefully i can reach the damn valve stem but i'm not sure if i'll be able to but yeah that's one way to get your tires off the bead like I said it might take you a couple tries but it definitely works all right i was able to get this get that hoe out so i'm about to run to autozone go get me a valve stem 
put that one in turn the compressor on then i'm gonna finish fucking putting the rest of the tires on that was my dilemma because i had the jack i needed a jack for the to break the bead so i have a jack stand it's like a three ton jack stand which is not rated for this truck holding the back because i was going to do the front but i just do the back do the valve stem real quick so i gotta go run and get that and then i'll bring y'all back got the goods some regular old valve stems well boys here she is finished when it was dark when it got night time so you gotta jump into this hoe it wasn't like that before I'll give y'all a gas station look. It's pretty big, pretty big. Also, I might show you guys in the morning. It just depends on if I edit this video or not. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I definitely got to slide up in there. But if you guys don't see me in the morning, then that's it for this video. So let me know what you guys think. You guys like the work truck? yeah i guess that's it for this one like i said if you guys don't catch me in the morning then be sure to hit that like button subscribe button comment what you guys think comment what you guys well comment what you guys want to see uh crew cap update coming real soon as you guys seen in earlier in this video be ready